Oma is afraid for operation. Oma is afraid of operation. Uh, uh, you are afraid of operation to die. Uh, you want to go through operation. Uh, uh, I just want healing through prayers. You want healing through prayers. Because they, they said I must go there tomorrow. Oh, it's already. Hey, yeah. 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 okay. They said they want to operate you, eh? Yes. Uh, after some years, they said they wanted to operate and they said they can't operate here. Yeah, now Oma is angry because they want to operate here. Yeah, but if you touch him, you find out you may break the shot. That is, you've got to refuse it. I'm going to give you an assignment. If you become bored, very bored, bored, and you tell them, you people, listen, I want to go to Apostle Show the Church so that Jesus Christ will operate me, not you to operate me, because you cannot do it better. Mm. Mm. Because you doctors, you can make this mistake. Eh, one doctor can already hear. She's outside there. She can hear already. Yeah. 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 You doctor can make mistake. Yeah. Jesus Christ cannot fail. Just go and tell them straight. Don't forget. Amen. <laughs> and you forget that they will take you to the theater. This is a small thing. Check even. Go and check yourself there. Now, the page is longer there. You just need the spare part. I did not put the spare part, but the pen is gone. I move the pen. Move your body. Check yourself. Check yourself. Can you see? What would you say? No. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now you are laughing. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Grandma, tell us your name, where you came from, and what the Lord has done in your life. Me kunutulo kwa le dina noe, apa waja, de na shomwe na lo gamonga la mnyo e. My name is Claudia and I'm a resident of Obediva. I'm I'm here to lift the name of God high and to honor him and thank him for what he has done for me through his seven apostle Shombe and put the enemy, the devil, to shame. I have been sick for the whole of the month of May. That pain was on the left side of my back and I could not move or do anything. I went to look for help at the hospital. I went to uh, when I went to the hospital, they did examinations and screenings on me to see if I'm having a problem with my kidneys or my liver. The results came back clean and they referred me to another doctor. 
Kononda hii ndaka sani kwa natango mumbu dopo ya tare ya kona kone kucha osike tashavu kanji. The way they took images of my back again so that they can see what is causing the pain in my back. Dr. Gono kwa mwono kucha ya otaya anuwa kata njeje ya kata re mumbu da kucha mwona sike shashu kuwete oneri veanja anuwa imeate menenwa kesipajo mbuta. The doctor decided that he, he would prefer to do an operation on me so that he can check what is wrong because he see there is a nerve of mine which is squeezed by one of my bones in the back. I came to the church to see the man of God so that I can receive prayers from him. On the day of ascension, when we were here for the service, I received a prophecy from the man of God. Uh, he prophesied saying that uh, I see that you are having the fear of being operated. I confirm that the prophecy is true because the doctor said he wants to operate me, yet I don't want to be operated, I prefer to be prayed for. Oma is afraid for operation. Oma is afraid of operation. Yeah. Uh, you are afraid of operation to die. We want to go through uh, prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I just want healing through prayers. You want healing through prayers. Because they, they said I must go there tomorrow. Oh. Oh. It's already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The man of God prayed for me and he gave me an instruction that when I'm going back to the doctor and the doctor still tells me about the operation, I should tell the doctor that no, I refuse to be operated and I would rather go to the church of Apostle Shombe to be operated there. Yeah, um... Yes, so Shomba, you... Grandma, tell us, after you say it, the servant of God prayed for you. So do you still feel the same pain? Because you said it was even difficult for you to walk. Ah, we have to make a new take our boy. Clap your hands beautifully for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus Christ. Grandma is testifying that after receiving prayers from the man of God, she no longer feels the pain that used to be on the left side of her back to the glory of Jesus Christ. And Grandma, he said when she went back to the doctor, the doctor who was intending to perform an operation on him, uh, on her, the doctor told her that, uh, Grandma, there is no more operation here to be done, except we'll just refer you to a physiotherapist so that you can go for therapy. And Grandma is saying that she also decided that she's not going for the physiotherapy because right now she feels like she is completely healed. Grandma, demonstrate to us that now, yes, you are in free indeed. <laughs> Grandma, 
Glory be to Jesus Christ. As Grandma is demonstrating to us, she said that she could not tilt her body to the sides, she could not stand straight, she always used to stand in a bending position, and now as she has demonstrated she can bend down and touch her toes, so it is an indication that she is completely healed, and all glory to the healer Jesus Christ. Wow, we thank Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What word of encouragement are you giving to us this morning? It's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Our grandma is especially encouraging people who are her age that whatever difficulty they are passing through, she's encouraging them to come to church, to a living church or to the church of Apostle Sean Bears, this one, so that they can receive prayers because whatever they are seeking for is here. Our word of encouragement to you. Make the word of God a standard of your life. Keep coming to Jesus Christ. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and rejoice always in the Lord. Somebody rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.